There are three ways of describing sense. These three ways are So the three ways are listing the, the members, using words, and then using a set builder notation. So in listing the members, what we mean is that you are going to list the actual members of the set. So for example, we have set A. The members of set A a, B, C, D, E. So set A is equal to A, B, C, D, and E. So we've listed the members of the set. So these are the members of the set. So it means we describe this set by listing the members of the set. So that is describing set by listing the members of the set. We can also describe set by using words. For example, we can have the set B equals even numbers less than 12. So the set B is equal to even numbers less than 12. So in this case, we can also list the set B to be equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So these are the even numbers less than 12. But instead of writing them by listing them, we can also write them in another way by writing them in words. So when we talk of set builder notation, we can say it is a form of mathematical formula. Instead of just writing it by listing all numbers, you can use some mathematical equation to explain or represent it. So for example, the set C is equal to, this is an example of a set builder notation. So C is equal to X such that One is less than x less than eleven, where x is an even number, even number, close brackets. So we have the equation is. One is less than x, less than eleven. So it means x is greater than one, but x is less than eleven. So if x is greater than one, it means it is two and above, and it is less than eleven. So it means it is ten and below. And we say where x is an even number. So what it means is that the number is from ten two to 10, but then it's an even number, so it means 2, 4, 6, 8. So it's the same as set B. So instead of writing set C, it's num even numbers less than 12. We can just write it in this way. X such that 1 is less than X, less than 11, where X is an even number. So this is a typical example of set builder notation, and that is the third way of describing sets. Mm -hmm.